Hey everybody, welcome back to this video series where I am taking the lean startup theory and I'm applying it to a real life business opportunity. Now I'm Dalton, I'm the lead instructor at the Side Startup Club and if you wanna follow along and watch me launch this business step by step, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel below. In this video, we are going to determine the revenue model for my Oaxacan travel platform. Now previously, we just got done um, doing our market research and the output of that market research was we defined what our value proposition is. And now that we have our value proposition, we can start to develop our business model around it. So again, our value proposition, we're a one-stop shop, we offer discounts and limited selections, and we're delivering that value proposition to the 1,000 to 2,000 English-speaking people who are searching Google for things to do in Oaxaca and various restaurants to eat at. And now we determine our revenue model, and the revenue model is essentially, how do I make money? So we have three objectives here. In part one, we are just gonna list as many options for making money that we can possibly think of. In part two, we're gonna divide what's left into kind of our realistic short-term revenue model. And here are some things that we could try in the future as this thing grows and matures. And then lastly, we're gonna create a best case, worst case scenario for our um, revenue streams. So a good way to get started with part one is to look at what your competitors are doing and how they are making money. So our biggest competitor, Lonely Planet, their traditional revenue stream comes from selling the information they create, in this case in the form of a book for $29.99. But Lonely Planet has diversified their revenue streams in the recent years. Now they've actually partnered with their former competitor, in this case it's Viator, who provides activities and you can book the activities directly through Viator, Lonely Planet has partnered with them and they get a kickback on all the activities um, booked when the customer reaches that website through Lonely Planet. This is called affiliate marketing. Um, some of these activities are upwards of $95 um, per person and they're being booked for two to four people at a time and these commissions can be between four and 10%. Um, so you can make some substantial money through affiliate marketing if you have the right partnerships. Oaxaca.com you see here has advertising streams and or affiliate marketing links to Amazon. Again, you have Viator here, so they are an affiliate marketing partner with them as well. Um, quick note about advertising schemes. If you get 50,000 page views a month, that only equates to about 73 US dollars in revenue. So this is not a very strong profit um, model. Here, Inspiroc has a widget to Skyscanner so that you can book your flight directly through Inspiroc's website. This is just a fancier form of affiliate marketing. Um, and Skyscanner shares 50% of their revenue um, when one of the customers books through Inspirox website. So again, a very profitable method of using affiliate marketing for a high ticket value item. Also, the same website has this button down here, request a travel agent in Mexico. Um, I tested this and it takes me to a third party um, travel agent service. And from what I researched, it looks like there's a roughly a two to 4% affiliate marketing commission model behind it. So that kind of gives us a basis for how our customers are generating revenue. It seems to be primarily through affiliate marketing. Now let's take a look at all the different ways we can possibly create revenue through our travel website. So kind of going along the lines of selling a book, perhaps we could sell some of our premium information to the customer, let's say at $5, um, to get all the information they want about Oaxaca. And then of course, we can also do affiliate partnerships just like all our competitors. These can be in the form of using Skyscanner as well on our website. 
um, partnering with some of the bigger restaurants, uh, partnering with Viator, which has all the activities on their sites, partnering with the shuttle companies, partnering with the local um, car rental services, and we can also partner with Amazon.com and just promote Oaxacan books and promote travel gear and things of that nature. We can have our own travel agent service just like our competitor did. So the customer could click on the button and it could either take them to our own travel agent, which could be someone I hire or hire them part time perhaps, or it could take them to someone I partnered with and we split that revenue or it could take them to a third-party travel agency and I just get a kickback on services rendered. Here's a creative um, revenue stream that none of the competitors are currently using and it's the with locals model. That's basically where I connect my customer with someone in the Oaxacan community that will take them on a personalized tour or give them, give them a personal dinner or do some sort of activity with them for a set price and I would split that revenue with that local person who took them on that tour. I could have an advertisement feed. Again, this is a very old form of um, a revenue stream where advertisement just shows up on the side of your website. Here's something creative I could do. What if I captured leads? Um, this means to capture email or contact information. Perhaps I offer a free walking tour map, but in order to get that map, you have to give me your email. Then I take that email and I sell it to the local car rental service, or I sell it to this e-commerce store who sells items um, directed towards the travel market. How could I make money off Airbnbs? Um, I wanted to think, you know, a lot of people are gonna book Airbnbs when they come here, and it would be great if I could somehow profit off of that and promote my favorite Airbnbs. So I looked into it. Airbnb does have an affiliate marketing um, program, but unfortunately you have to have like a million visitors to your website for them to partner with you. So that's not very plausible short term. What if I did some sort of affiliate with the host where the host gives me a kickback? Um, or maybe I do an advertisement scheme with the host where they pay me a set amount of money each month and I promote their Airbnb. Or what if in the long term I just own the Airbnbs that are on my site and it just helps me make sure I'm um, booking those Airbnbs more nights. And then I thought, you know what, we're gonna have this shopping section on our um, website and what if I also just listed some of the local merchandise directly on my website and they could come to my apartment or we could meet up and I could um, give them the merchandise. So just getting creative here, I could directly um, sell those items or I could even have a drop shipping um, model where before their trip they can order things, you know, certain gear, or backpacks or bug spray or suntan lotion that they need and I can drop ship them those from China. And then the last idea I came up with, I was thinking long term here, is once this website works, um, how can I make money off of that and expand it um, in a very lean way? And one idea would be, I have a lot of friends in South America and Central America at other cities that really know their area well. What if I said, hey, I got this beautiful website all developed. I know exactly how to um, go about doing the SEO and I have a lot of know-how of what revenue streams work, what revenue streams don't work. What do you say we partner up together? You populate all the information. I'll give you the website, the SEO, and the know-how and you give me, say, 35% of your commission. So this is another scalable way I could expand this in the long run. Now I'm gonna quickly um, get rid of some of these options because I don't see them as being very feasible or very profitable. First, I'm gonna get rid of charging the customer directly. 
just because I'm going for price savvy customers and they are already custom to get an information for free via blogs and other websites. So I don't see this as very feasible for my market segment. The next thing I want to get rid of is hiring someone, um, even if it's part time, to be my travel agent. Uh, the reason for this, I want to keep my risk as low as possible and I want to be very lean, meaning I don't want a lot of overhead with my business. So I don't want that option. I don't really want to capture and sell leads primarily because my traffic to my website is so low that I'm not going to have enough leads to actually make substantial revenue from this model. And I want to get rid of advertisement feed for the exact same reason. There's just not enough traffic coming to my niche website to really make substantial profits from this revenue model. So that completes part one. What we did is we looked at all our competitors and got an idea of how they're making money and then we listed every single option we could for how our website could generate revenue and of those options there were some obvious ones that were kind of far-fetched or not very profitable and we crossed them off the list and in the next video I'm going to show you which of these options I'm going to focus on short term and which ones are going to be more of a midterm or long term um, strategy and in the final video we'll actually see my estimation for how much money this travel tourist platform stands to make.